So you've been goblet squatting for a while. In this video, we're gonna make sure that you have pristine technique. We're also gonna tackle some of the common issues we see with this lift. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the foot position. With your foot position, it's gonna vary from person to person. Um, it's, however, it's gonna be usually close to around shoulder width with your toes pointed out slightly. I like to go a little bit wider than shoulder width, but not much. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is your shoulder positioning when you're doing it. You wanna make sure that your shoulders are locked in so that will help to kind of tighten up that T-spine as we're lowering down the lift. So the way that would look, I got my dumbbell. Pop it up from the side. We wanna make sure we're not deadlifting or squatting with our shoulders forward like that. So we're gonna exhale, get our abs down and then our shoulders are gonna come back and up slightly. Okay, and then that, how that would look in a squat. Okay. So the next thing we'll go over is your bracing and how to do your bracing when you're lifting. When I have my weight, I'm, when I'm using my bracing technique is it always starts with exhale, ribs down, and then a big breath in into especially the lower back and the sides to get a nice solid brace going. Now bracing is really important because it will affect uh, what is typically called butt wink. And butt wink is when you're going to squat and you get here and then your butt kind of tucks under you. Okay, and that happens because we're not, we don't have a good pelvic position and we're not moving in our hips. We're moving too much in the lower back. So to get rid of butt wink, it's really important to get a good brace on and keep that neutral spine throughout. Okay, so how that would look if I'm doing my bracing. Here. So I'm here, exhale, ribs are down, breath in, shoulders are back, I'm braced, and I'm dropping down. Okay, it's important when we're, if we do have issues with butt wing, when you're trying to fix it, is to go as low as you can where you can keep a neutral spine. As soon as you start to go where you're moving too much in your lower back, you wanna stop before that. So if I can only go this far, before I start moving in my back, I'll squat there for now until I can start going lower and lower. Okay, the other common issue we see is someone who will deadlift the squat. And that looks like like that. So we start doing more of a hip hinge movement instead of a squatting movement. So for that, you just wanna make sure that it's your butt dropping down, not your butt going back when you're squatting. So it'll look like. Again, with the squat, it's okay that your knees go forward as long as you keep your foot flat and the weight distributed throughout the whole foot while still pushing a bit more through the heels.